Alrighty, it is a Friday. It is an awesome day, except it's not raining. And it'd be nice to be getting some rain. We will see some coming. And I see some really good signs out there in the uh, long range models that look pretty good for early February. I know, eternal optimist. Um, we'll talk a little bit about everything. I'm gonna try to make this quick today. I'm, I'm retiring after 30, uh, from television after 33 years with Channel 2 as a chief meteorologist and after 35 years in the business and probably 40 years doing weather because I was at Berkeley in climatology and then San Francisco doing atmospheric science. So I've been doing this a long time in the Bay Area and it's been awesome. It's been awesome. And I, this picture, I love this picture because it, that's Pat Finn. You may, nobody remembers him, even though he was awesome. He was a weekend weather guy at Channel 4. Two, four, Cron, when it was NBC. And I was, this picture, the thing I love about this picture, which not many people know, this is in the height of my homelessness. I was in graduate school and I was living in my van or living under the surf shop at Bob Wise's. On the, he gave me the key to the shop because I, was, I wasn't like, it wasn't, it was a different kind of homeless. It was a self, sort of self, uh, self, you know, induced homelessness because I didn't want to spend money on rent. So I had a van. I just lived in it. It was awesome. But I remember <laughs> Pat, I was producing for Pat. I was kind of like an intern over there at Cron. And uh, it was, they, oh, they had a surf contest at Ocean Beach, which had never happened before. It was the um, Budweiser Pro surf thing, which was weird because nobody even back then barely even knew we surfed up here. And he had me come out and I, you know, I was right in my element. And I thought, oh, maybe I could do this. Um, I do have the video of this somewhere, but um, Pat was awesome to give me the, the break that he did and just kind of and, and let me, you know, kind of work my way into the business. This is uh, George Watson, who was a wonderful man, and Leslie Griffith, uh, rest in peace. I mean, we lost her a couple years ago. George is doing well down south, but this is my first, probably my first night at Channel 2, which is probably 1993. They had me come in on Sunday nights and I would do the... Um, I would do the weather on Sunday nights. And Sunday nights back then, before the internet, before all the different platforms, are you kidding? They, we, I can't remember what our lead-in was, but we were doing like 25 ratings, which is, 20, it's, it's hard to explain ratings, but basically 80% of the Bay Area was watching every Sunday night, I know. Um, this is the best thing about working and, and working maybe longer than I should have is being with the kids. They are so awesome. All these, these four, but I mean, you got, you got a bunch of other ones too, but they're just, you know, when you're an old guy, one of the things I've learned is you don't get to, um, some, you don't get to talk to kids enough, you, unless you have kids, but I mean, real kids, kids that are like going to tell you, you suck or, gonna, you know, that, and these guys will go, Bill, that sucks. What are you, are you going to wear that tie? What are you doing? So it's been really fun. The best part for me has been just hanging out with kids. And I know they, that's, that, that, that sounds condescending. But I mean, these guys, you know, they're, I guess Mikey's probably in his, I guess he's in his 40s. I don't even know. Yeah, he's in his 40s or late, early 40s, maybe. But I should know, right? But they're kids to me and they're awesome. And that's been just a treat doing that. So I'll be saying goodbye for about a month. I'm not leaving until um, the end of February because I'm going to need a month to say goodbye to you guys. Anyway, I got this YouTube channel. I'm going to keep it updated. It's even if, and I know, you know, the first 10 subscribers that I got ever, I know who you are. Maybe first 20, maybe first 50. And if you guys stick around, I'll stick around. I don't care. I love it anyway. And uh, if I go on vacation or something, I'll try to do something. I know you don't need me, but it is comforting to have a, a familiar face in our lives. And um, so anyway, okay, that was a little deep. <laughs> so Wind Advisory throughout the evening tonight for the north part of the state. Not too worried about fire, always worried about fire, but the wind advisory in effect um, through tonight and tomorrow morning. And then here's a red flag warning, which gets dropped in Southern California by um, this afternoon. So that's, they're getting a break. And they're also getting a break here. This is the GFS. And I'll put a circle around us. And this is Saturday afternoon. See the Lake Tahoe every maybe a little snow, maybe a little sprinkle over us too, right? But I'm not banking on it. That's tomorrow afternoon. But the real get here is that's Sunday morning is Southern California right there. Look at that. That's the, that's money because they're mopping up those fires, right? So this low is what you call beneficial rainfall. It's not if it was if it was coming in full on atmospheric river on LA lead story on the network news, right? Because you can't have that much fire damage, that much um, debris flow 
mudslides, toxic, toxic things running into the ocean from the, from the, the homes, the, a, lot of, a lot of toxic materials. So this lighter rain, third of an inch to a quarter inch to maybe a half inch, half inch is a lot, but it's still going to be, it'll be beneficial. And it'll allow them to mop up the, the fires, the big fires, because getting full containment is difficult. Um, and then, so we go through time, 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 nothing yet, nothing yet, nothing yet. This is on January 31st. And then it looks like on January 31st, that's next, the Friday, Friday after this, is you're going to see a parade of activity. And we've kind of seen that in the bigger picture too, in the Long Range Mall. So that's, that's kind of great. Now, LA looks like they're kind of out of it, right? They get this, they get a little drive by and LA's, you know, they'll dry out again. Like if they don't get more than this next round of rain Saturday, if they don't start getting rain in terms of inches, it is going to be a hell of a spring out there. It really is. And so, and everyone knows that. So California is, you know, it's about the weather and, 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 you know, we just need some rain. So I'm not, it, I, I'm not doom and gloom. February, March are often awesome. Ocean Beach. I'm on my way out there in about, as soon as I edit this bad boy down, I'm come, going out because it looks fun, right? A little high on the tide right now, but it's going to drop down. Surf's, I think they're calling it four to seven. Hawaiians would call it flat. And then this is Mount Tam. You see the inversion. That's kind of awesome. That's not, I'm not seeing any valley fog, at least on the visible. And I haven't seen any hourly reports, but it looks like valley fog's trying to form. Um, there's Mount Tam. There's Angel Island. And there's the, the avenues. Beautiful. And then let's see what else. I'm going kind of quick because, oh, this is Dollar Point, which I'm not really familiar with Dollar Point, but your Lake Tahoe. You see a little bit, look at the lenticular clouds here. That's a bounce. So I wonder if I could do this. No, I don't have a thing. Well, I could do it. I'm going to try it. What the hell? I'm going to go here. So I think we're looking, okay, we're looking south, southeast. So, okay, wind's coming this way, hits the hill, goes this, and does this, and then does this. That's how you get lens clouds. It bounces. It starts to, that's, that's a rough, I'm sure... Um, Orman Granger right now at Berkeley is just going seriously, dude. But no, that's kind of that's kind of what happens. It's a wave cloud, so the wind comes, hits the crest of the Sierra Nevada. It's not horribly windy, but it's breezy. Hits the crest and refracts and bends, like we talked about with waves. And then as it does, it hits the next surface, which in this case is the lake, and bounces up. Gets cooler up there where there's some moisture, condenses, and then it drops back down. And it, this cycle would repeat itself. And if you're in the desert out in the lee side of the hills in place like, um, well, even out towards, well, out towards here, I don't see any here, but you'll get these, the wave, these cool wave clouds that keep like a sea serpent's back that run hundreds of miles down to the east or down in the direction of the wind. Owens Valley, because it's so beautiful. We'll get into that um, some other time. I did, have, I did have it lined up. Oh, that's the White Mountains out here, which are beautiful. Perpendicular, it runs... White mountains don't run parallel. They don't. They run perpendicular to the Sierra Nevada, which is, makes them very unique. But the beautiful, beautiful valley, and then Salt Creek, which is down by Laguna Beach, Dana Point, and just stunning. And again, just to try to illustrate, it's the beauty of California. Okay, that's a lot. I, I over the next month or so, I'll regale you with the things that I've experienced in my career because I've experienced some really cool things. I mean, interesting things. We could be in television news all this time. I went from when they were using magnets to or, or um, grease boards for weather, right? And magnets at one station I went to, they actually had a, a national weather map with like little kids' magnets, <laughs> right? And then um, to the first weather computers, to the uh, the um, earthquake, uh, the the firestorm, just so many cool. Not those aren't cool, but I mean, just I've been part of an interesting. We've all been part of an interesting sort of thing and uh it's kind of fun to share and without the constraints of tv and without the constraints of directors and producers and news directors i'll have the ability to share them with you so i'm pretty stoked about that okay thanks for your indulgence i, I appreciate all you guys for showing up and again if it's only the 20 of you i'm here and um yeah and i i'll i don't think i'm gonna do anything tomorrow i'll probably do something on sunday see you back here